What's up, guys? Welcome back to Rip City Rundown. And the final preview video of March Madness. It has been a crazy ride. All the preview videos going out, the amount of new fans on the channel. I just want to say thank you uh, before I get into it. Uh, my emotions are all over the place right now because I'm recording this at 11.46 Eastern Time on Saturday night. This is like 20 minutes, 30 minutes after UNC just beat Duke in an all-time classic game. And I, I just my emotions are everywhere. What a game that was. Caleb Love, a monster down the stretch. Um, but it's look it's gonna be UNC in Kansas in the championship game. Two crazy blue bloods, two of the best teams of all time. You got Kansas who has the most wins of all time, and you got UNC who has the most final fours of all time. Um, this is this is gonna be insane Monday night. Let's talk about Kansas first, their road, how they got here, and what to expect from them in the championship game. Uh, so obviously they were a one seed, won their conference term, and they're coming in on, I think, a 10-game winning streak now uh, coming into this game against UNC. Uh, they beat Texas Southern game one, then squeaked up by Creighton and Providence, and then uh, looked to have trouble with Miami in the Elite Eight until a dominating second half, and then they took that dominating second half and handled Villanova pretty easily. Um Took an early lead straight out of the jump. Oshai Baji was so hot out of the gate, starting off the game four for four from three, and then ended up being six for six from three at one point. Uh, he had 21 points, and if he's shooting like that, that is a scary sight for UNC fans. And then David McCormick, what a game he had today. 25 points and nine rebounds on 10 of 12 shooting against Villanova. Um, that was his career high. And if he's doing that, then, um, again, Kansas is firing on all cylinders right now. And they had this dominating performance against Villanova, winning by 16, and Remy Martin only had three points, who was the regional player of the – like the player of the region. Um, and I think that was the South region. So that's a, this is a scary team. Uh, and I haven't even talked about yet uh, Christian Braun Brown. Uh, I mean, a, a lot of people pronounce it differently, so it's weird. Um but he's been a key player. I mean, Ochai Baji might be the best player on the court come Monday night, but he also, I mean, UNC's got so many, so much talent now, and they're, they're playing at a high level. But Ochai Baji is a Wooden Award finalist. Um, if you're UNC, you're going to put Leaky Black on him, I believe, uh, who is renowned as one of the best defenders in the country. I'm surprised that Leaky wasn't on Paolo as much tonight. They let Leaky guard a bunch of different guys. I mean, sometimes he was on Paolo, sometimes he was on... Roach, sometimes he was on Wendell Moore. So that allowed Powell to get his. He had like 20 points tonight. But um, UNC's got a lot more size than Villanova, so you're not going to see a guy like McCormick go off for 25 against UNC. Um, barring that Armando Baycott is fully healthy, because we did see that nasty ankle sprain or ankle roll. It's probably not a sprain because he came back in, but he was definitely a little more ginger after that. And, you know, Ankle injuries can kind of start showing themselves the day after or the day after that. Um, so keep an eye out for Armando Baycott's health and how how what percent he is, if he's 100% or if he's a little worse, because that could be big for McCormick. And then just another underrated guy, Jalen Wilson for Kansas. I mean, he averaged 11 points on the year and seven rebounds. And he's gonna and these teams match up crazy well. Um, I haven't even gone deep into UNC, but... McCormick and Baycott is going to be an absolute slugfest underneath. Those are two great big guys. I'm going to give the edge to Baycott, though. Um, has the most double doubles in ACC history, 30 double doubles on the year, and is going to go tie, try to tie the all-time record in the national championship on Monday. Um, Wilson and Manic match up pretty well. That's going to be a battle. Uh, Manic better offensively. Wilson better defensively. Wilson a little more athletic. Um, but Manic really can shoot the lights out of the ball. And then uh, Leaky Black is going to guard Ochai Baji. They're going to go head-to-head, um, both big guards slash somewhat small forwards. And then uh, Harrison Brown and then Remy Martin coming off the bench are going to match up with the backcourt of UNC of R.J. Davis and Caleb Love. And just while we're at that, let's go ahead and talk about UNC and how they got here. Um, dominated Marquette round one. Easy. Caleb Love went off. Brady Manick went off. Uh, second round, R.J. Davis decided he wanted to go off. He put up 30 against uh, Baylor, and they squeezed by Baylor, the one seed, um, and one of the best games of the tournament. 
Then they took on UCLA. Caleb Love decided to go off again, six threes, dagger after dagger. Um, what a game that was from Caleb Love. And then you look at the game against St. Peter's, just dominated them, the only team to dominate St. Peter's this tournament, and then just took down Duke. Caleb Love, 22 second-half points, dagger three. The Caleb Love shot could send – that sent Coach K into, into retirement. Armando Baycott, 21 rebounds. 21 rebounds for Armando. And UNC is the hottest team in the country. I don't care Kansas is here too. UNC has beaten better teams. UNC has beaten Duke. They have beaten UCLA. They have beaten Baylor. Three teams that I would say are top 10 teams in the country. UNC is is firing on all cylinders. And they've got the confidence. That's the thing. The confidence in, with this team. We knew they were talented coming into the year. But they weren't playing team basketball and they weren't confident. Now they're playing team basketball. They are confident. They've got five guys that are going to go out and get you buckets. They've got five guys that are going to play hard. Um, but then again, that can be their downfall because they only play really a five-man rotation. Compared to Kansas, Kansas doesn't play a ton of people. Like, uh, I mean, they really only played a six-man rotation today. Maybe seven if I go back and look at the box score. I mean, yeah, they got Remy Martin come off the bench for 21 minutes and then Mitch Lightfoot uh, nine minutes. So they really just run a six, maybe seven-man rotation. So both of these teams rely on their starters. Um, majority of the time, Remy Martin is going to be the X factor in this game, though. Because if he can come in and provide big minutes off the bench, that's going to give just fr more fresh legs for Kansas because UNC doesn't have a guy like Remy Martin to come off the bench. Um, but UNC's – there's two ways to look at it. You either see, say they're coming off this high against Duke and they're due for a letdown, or they're coming off this high against Duke and they are rolling. And I think UNC is rolling. And UNC is going to lift that trophy and Hubert Davis is going to win the national championship in his first year. Give me UNC to beat Kansas. I got them winning by four in the national championship. I think Caleb Love has another huge game and he wins Final Four. Most outstanding player. Give me UNC to win it all. Comment down below who you think is going to win. Make sure to subscribe. And who's ready for the national championship, baby? See you in the next one. Peace.